Hello my loves, this is Mridula Vaska and welcome back to my channel. If you're hearing any noise over here, it is nothing but my baby T-Rex. He's sort of behaving like a pee in the A today because bichara, he's really really not well. His skin is like pretty inflamed and he's having a tough time coping up with it. Anyways, I just finished editing the hair care routine video and I realized I have not yet shot the beginning cut and end cut. So this video is going to talk about how I take care of my hair. Yeah, my oiling routine and uh, how I massage it into my scalp, the shampoo I use, how I take care of my skin, how I dry it and everything else. I anyway have to act, taken a head bath today so you can see how my hair looks. Okay, this is how I take care of it. I do not follow the curly curl method. So if you're here thinking that I'm going to talk about the curly girl method no I don't I follow the ancient techniques for my hair okay that's all I can say now anyways without wasting any time let's jump into the video but before that hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I post a video so this is like the third day that I tested COVID negative so I decided I'll take a head bath it's almost been more than a week you can see that you know Every time I comb my hair, there has been a lot of breakage. Okay, you can see that small baby hair. So my hair is really breaking off. It's very dry. It's not manageable right now. So I am just getting back to my normal routine of, uh, you know, washing my hair and everything. So what I first do is oil the hair. Um, and the oil that I use, I'm going to be uh, linking it up here in the aisle. It's almost two years or I think more than that also since I put up the video. It was one of, you know, the videos which many of them watched and used and told me it was very good. So definitely check that video out. So I'm not going to be showing you or telling you what oil I'm using on my hair. Okay, so this is a brush from Roots, okay. It's got very, very soft uh, bristles over there. So it doesn't really hurt when you remove the tangles, especially because my hair is curly. It's very, very tough to remove tangles, okay? So you can see this is just gliding through my hair. So um, what I do is, especially when it's very knotted, I will start from down. Now it's not very knotted. I just combed my hair in the morning. So still better, okay? So generally what happens is when I comb here, here and here, it's fine. But if you see this hair out here, it's pretty untouched, right? So what I do is I flip my hair down that way. I hope you can see. I flip my hair down in that way and then again I comb away, okay? So once that is done, what I'm going to do is just take one random section in the center. So this is the oil which I made and I have put it in this Indileka oil dabba because the applicator is very nice. So what I do is I will hold and I will go this way, okay? Almost like taking sections till the back and everywhere all through my scalp. I will just make sure I can feel the oil, okay? To the front sections everything randomly i'm just taking sections you can see that it's you know the oil is getting uh, distributed evenly on the scalp with this particular um, applicator so then what i do is i flip over like how i did to comb and i go downward like that so i think that's done and now what i'm gonna do is take a little bit of that oil my hand okay one place where this cannot reach is, you know, right behind your ears over here, okay? So generally that place I have a lot of uh, dirt build up and dryness build up. So it's very important to keep the place moisturized always. So I'm just taking a little bit in my hand. The rest of it, fingers, okay? Don't go with your nails. Never scratch your scalp like that. But go with your fingertips. Slightly massage your hair like that, okay? Got the oil back. I'm gonna pour some oil onto my uh, palms, okay, and then I'll just rub it like that, okay, and I will brush through the hair because scalp, yes, it's very important, but it's also very important to nourish the lengths of your hair okay so we don't add this uh, in a way that it will you know uh, make the hair grow better or anything of that sort but whatever is there when we put like something as thick and moisturizing as an oil into the hair 
like that it really avoids splittings my hair is still my you know lower back over here but there are absolutely no split ends that's the reason it there are no split ends because i apply the uh, you know oil even to my scalp it's very very important to apply oil even to the scalp and to the ends because that's what i have been done doing all my life i have uh, straightened my hair i have done keratin i have done all sorts of things everything causes terrible hair fall and i'm a person who really used to take care okay whenever i done i used to go for a lot of um, you know hair spas and all sorts of things but it's important to you know avoid heat tools or styling or whatever as much as possible i have been tempted several times to color my hair but i don't know i'm very scared like you know I, with what i faced what happened baby look at me the parrot what happened no one is there to take care of you oh shu papa so sad my child onna makana what happened so this is the case whenever i'm shooting sir goes into depression mode because no one is there to spend time with him anyways i showed all this i'm waiting it out for an hour or so before i go into washing my hair this is the renosha shampoo and conditioner okay it's the hair revitalizing renosha shampoo and conditioner this was suggested by my dermatologist when i was going through extreme hair fall okay so this is one shampoo which i will always have uh, as a backup um because i tend to get into this phase of extreme hair fall every now and then so i do keep this uh, shampoo and conditioner so that i can combat that and attend to it immediately rather than you know waiting buying it's not there in stock i always keep this as a backup so uh, if i'm taking a bath um, you know um, eight times a month four times it will be with this and four times it will be with another shampoo and conditioner but now on a regular basis i'm using this because it's very good you guys it's very nice it tackles uh, the you know dryness dandruff and it tackles a lot of hair problems and i have seen that my um, hair fall visibly reduces to a large large extent so basically for your bath you use lukewarm water okay not too hot not too cold lukewarm water and what i generally do is put my hair down like that and i put it under the tap but for demonstration purpose today i will be sitting up straight and doing it but it's better to do it that way because when you bend down the shampoo and conditioner will not you know hit your back you will just be bending down and all the dirt grime is just going to get washed away from your hair so it's better to avoid putting your hair down like this when you take bath otherwise you do get a lot of body acne many people suffer from body acne because of this so it's better to avoid using too much of uh, you know a uh, product going on your body and it's better to put your hair down but it's up to you anyways if you like taking bath in the shower you can always do that and what i do for my shampoo is take uh, water in a mug like this okay i'm going to be taking the shampoo and putting like a good dollop full of shampoo into this water and then i will you know sort of mix that up to create like a more dilute uh, thing and then i will pour a little first on my scalp and sort of start massaging it okay so this is generally how i massage the product into my scalp mainly than my ends okay hair is washed completely so what i'll do is i will rinse the water out of my hair okay conditioner okay i'm going to use like a blob of conditioner like that because my hair is long i'm having to use this much okay and with a lot of love just pulling down motion like that okay never rub the conditioner in your hair like that just pull down slightly okay and just run your fingers through your hair like that and that's about it i'm not a person who combs my hair um, at least when i'm having extreme hair fall in uh, you know the shower that is when my hair is wet i don't like to comb my hair because it causes even more amount of hair fall because you're tugging at your hair when it's at its weakest so i avoid doing it especially when i have a lot of hair fall even though i have curly hair i don't do the curly hair method a curly girl method because it's very very tough for me guys 
so i will leave this on for a good um 5 minutes 5 to 7 minutes and then i will wash it off with um like very cold water okay so i am going to do that only i'm going to put my hand under the tap and wash it off with nice and cold water so this moisture sort of um you know gets uh, locked into your hair the ends of your hair and everything so that there are no split ends and all that never use hot water with a conditioner it will strip your hair of all the moisture because first you use lukewarm water to open up the uh, you know uh, hair uh, follicles and then you seal it in with a good moisturizing agent like a conditioner and wash it off with cold water so that you don't have that uh, you know um, dryness or breakage it reduces to a large extent try it. you will thank me later I have a microfiber towel here which I have wrapped around my hair um it's from Decathlon okay it's very thin very nice it absorbs a lot of water as well so I like it so one important thing that you need to know is you should not be uh, you know rubbing your hair like that you should just go straight like this and you know sort of wring the water out of your hair okay luxuriant hair vitalizer okay this is from indulgio essentials one of the best products i saw shreya jain uh, suggest this some time back and i happened to pick it i think this is my third bottle of this particular product very nice product i'll put the link to this so what i do is i take this particular thing it's very thin okay it's got like a glass dropper so what i do is i will you know sort of put that straight into my scalp as eh? so then what happens is it sort of runs through the scalp and you can feel it it's nice and cold over there okay so before i let my hair air dry or you know i dry it using the um hair dryer i sort of follow this step every time after a bath it's got a very mild fragrance as well it's very liquidy can you see that it's extremely liquidy just like water so it'll be like you're applying cold cool water on your hair that's about it so on the ends of my hair okay i use the plum aloe vera uh, gel it's very nice you know to give that bit of moisturization so this is how i open it i don't open it fully so it can come out like a dropper bottle so very little bit okay i'll show you how much i take just two to three blobs of that instead of an oil or anything i feel this serves the purpose much better okay i've taken that much just massaging it so what i'll do is i will just put it on the ends of my hair so that it you know feels very moisturized and nice see there's no harm in this going on your scalp okay sometimes a serum you cannot take it on your scalp this particular product can go on your scalp as well i'm not applying it on the scalp but i'm just taking it till the scalp on all the hair okay from my scalp i stake finger comb like that so that it's applied evenly and when there's water it tends to spread even better okay that's all okay i'm not trying it anymore just the scalp that i have dried as much as possible and i'm not doing anything with the ends it's still slightly wet it's okay we let it air dry so yes my loves we come to the end of today's video i told you i'm not a person who does the curly girl method it has never suited me you you can make out that i have long hair i have not done any major hair cut layers or i have not uh, you know colored my hair or anything of that sort i have never colored my hair okay but basically i have never got my hair cut in layers when it's curly like this i have done so much shit to my hair that it was in a very very bad state and i worked a lot to bring it to this state now okay there are still certain girls who are comfortable with the non curly girl method with curly hair and that is me because i'm not a person who can stay without combing my hair it doesn't work for me Yeah so that's what I wanted to tell all of you take good care of yourself don't forget to subscribe to my channel come on yaar abhi to main every week do baar post kar rahi hu aur aap log subscribe nahi kar rahe to kar rahe hain lekin thoda slow pace mein ja raha hai isliye bol rahi hu thoda subscribe kijiye na mm bye bye love you all